Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. A Prayer to Appreciate God's Blessings, written and read by Victoria Riolano. So Esau despised his birthright. Genesis chapter 25, verse 34b. I get annoyed a lot more than I should. A messy car, loud children, friends who text a tad too much, or a bank account that isn't as bountiful as I would like could irritate my entire mood. I find myself wrapped up into how much someone or something is impacting my day, and I get frustrated. Instead of being thankful for the blessings God has given me, like my home, friends, or my vehicle, I complain about how I feel when things aren't just right. But lately, the Lord has shown me that this choice to not truly appreciate All that I have is not pleasing to him. What if I held God's blessings close to my heart rather than in contempt? What if I chose to walk in joy and gratitude versus pity and annoyance? I am convinced that I am not alone. In fact, in Genesis chapter 25, verse 29 through 34, we see the story of Esau and Jacob which serves as a reminder to cherish God's gifts. In this story, Esau is tired from a long day of work. In a hurry to feed himself, he asks his brother Jacob for a taste of soup. Jacob saw this as an opportunity to secure a major blessing. Jacob offers Esau the stew for a hefty price, Esau's birthright. In modern-day society, The birthright would be equivalent to one's inheritance or being named the beneficiary of someone's very large life insurance policy. Yet Esau was so consumed by the hunger pangs, he states in Genesis chapter 25, verse 32, Look, I'm about to die, Esau said. What good is the birthright to me? And with that, Esau trades his birthright which would have guaranteed him land, authority, and wealth for many years to come for a single bowl of soup. In this moment, Esau allowed a momentary irritation to cheat him out of generations to come. Sadly, the passage ends with this. So Esau despised his birthright. Genesis 25, verse 34. Interestingly enough, The word despise means that Esau disregarded or cared less about his birthright. The more I read this passage, the more the Lord reminds me that the choice to not appreciate what God has blessed you with is dishonoring to God. While Jacob couldn't wait for the opportunity to have the birthright, Esau was willing to give it away with no regard. If you continue to follow Esau's story, we see a downward spiral of missing out on God's best for his life because of this crucial moment. Friends, there are blessings you have in your life that many people wish they could boast of. In my own life, I have been guilty of holding resentment towards the very things I had prayed for. My prayer for you is that you see the beauty of God's hand in your life. Will there be a hard day? Sure. Will you find yourself overwhelmed? Yes. However, never become so frustrated that you start to despise the very thing God has blessed you with. Pray for strategy on how to steward the blessing 
and treasure it with all your heart. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for the blessings that you have given me. Lord, teach me to be grateful. There are times when I allow myself to get caught up in the daily frustrations. In these moments, teach me to seek you for wisdom instead of complain. God, show me the beauty even in the broken moments. Help me to have a sense of gratitude and appreciation. Forgive me for every time I have treated your blessings with contempt. Thank you for being patient with me and guiding me. May my words and the thoughts deep within my heart be perfected by your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.